All right, folks, welcome back. If you've been watching any of my videos, you'll probably notice I've had the same shirt on. That's because I've done every single video in a row so far. So my folk, little froggy, little froggy. Anyway, I'm losing my mind. It's okay. I'm just losing my mind. So the next movie we went and saw is Action Point. <laughs> I'll be quite honest with you. We suck at agreeing on movies to go to. I'm all like, let's go to Han Solo and Ready Player One and Ant-Man. And she's like, I don't want to see any of those movies. Let's just stay home and watch a movie. I'm like... What is the point of buying this pass if you don't go see movies you wouldn't regularly see? Like staying home and watching the movie is the same thing as going out and seeing the movies if we've already paid for the pass. It is free. We might as well go since we sit here for an hour and can't decide. Anyway, er, anyway, we've been having a horrible time lately picking movies. And a lot of it is because my niece has been here, not to be rude. But, you know, when me and her go, it's free. When she goes, it's not free. So we're having to go back and forth, pay for movies. What are you doing? Filming. Or? I haven't told them the movie yet. Ashley. You're doing the channel? I've done the last three. I told you my voice is getting froggy. Well, you really should say something, but I thought you were out here talking to yourself. Well, I kind of am. <laughs> Which one are you talking about? Action point. I just did The Incredibles. And Tolly. Now we're talking. Shit! I was gonna make a big answer. We're talking about action point. Well, can I put my four say? I thought she didn't want to do this. Okay, fine. No, but I want to come here because I like Peter. I just want to say it real fast. But I haven't even said the storyline yet. I'm not talking about action point. I'm talking about the other two. I've already finished the videos. Oh, completely separate? Yes. Okay, then I'll say this about action point. For someone who doesn't like the kind of jackass sense of humor that it is, it was actually pretty funny. Um, not appropriate at all, as I figured taking my 14 year old niece into certain Look at my situations. Jeez, y'all, get your own. It's on the counter, please. Anyway, though, uh, some of the jokes were really stupid and they play at, you know, things like falling and stuff, which is part of the reason we're on the counter. Just. See it. <laughs> which is part of the reason why I've never actually gone into the Jackass movies, because I work cringe when somebody flips off of a thing, then laugh. But. For what it was, it was pretty good. I like the cast and crew in it. That includes, um, that one guy. Come on, the bear can't come out here. Well, I better go back into the house with the puppies. Come on, we're gonna get across. Hey, what are you doing? You. Yesterday when I, or today when I went when I left for work, he literally came out here with me and sat up on the couch while I ate my cereal. It was super cute. Did I tell you that when? Okay, so yesterday, Facebookers or YouTubers are now with us because I'm talking about it. Yesterday was Fourth of July and dogs were freaking out. You know how you all left and I was. Your stomach was upset. I went in the bathroom about one o'clock and he had gone in there and was sleeping in there. He was in there. This Poor is the dog. I finally took him out of there and was like cuddling with me, so he laid right on the floor. I petted him all night, and Zeus laid right in Mom's recliner behind me. This is the first year we've had the Huskies for Fourth of July, and Shadow, no problem like usual. They, they didn't freak out. They weren't skittish, but they definitely. She's having to scoot him on the hardwood floor to get the door closed. Jesus, be careful! But they definitely were homebodies. They. My mom doesn't like fireworks at all. Like, doesn't like fireworks, so. Thought I heard him cry, Jesus. She doesn't like fireworks, so she stayed in with the dogs, but yeah, they were pretty much, their heads and bodies were right against us the entire time. They did better than I thought they were going to. They seemed to freak out the last two nights when one or two of them went off, so I really thought it was gonna be a bigger problem, but they did pretty good. But anyway, back to the review. So, action point. Like Ashley said, it is a movie with the same guy that does Bad Grandpa and Jackass and blah 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 and I can't remember his name, I'm sorry. Okay, what is his name? Anyway, we ended up going to the movies and we missed we were the point the plan was to go see a movie and we couldn't decide and there was like three different movies playing at the time. It was action point, I feel pretty and something else overboard. And we were going to Regal Ten and they were playing older movies and we just 
I was like, okay, we got it. We had it narrowed down to I feel pretty an action point because I don't really like over that type those type of movies like Overboard and I never saw the original and I didn't I don't like Anna Ferris very much so I didn't really want to go to the new one so we were like, what type of movie do you want to see? Well, Ashley was like, I don't care because she doesn't like this. I knew she didn't like this type of movie. Becca was like, I'd rather laugh than have a drama or be scary because the other one we were going to see is the movie we saw next time which I'll explain in this next video. Anyway, so we ended up settling on Action Point and basically it is to that type of story that same young guy in the old man outfit talking to his grandkid and tells the story about Action Point. A theme park that he had opened up that basically got him pretty good money. All the locals let you go there. Kids loved it. You know, it was keeping him employed, keeping a job there. He got a family out of it because of the fact that he grew so His brother worked there and he grew so close with the workers. And then, you know, stupid, stupid shit started happening. Obviously, they show some weird stuff in there. Like, it's not super appropriate like Ashley said. This, so, there were like... Some scenes were like they were doing stuff in the theme park like they shouldn't and like getting hurt and stuff. And if you saw a Bad Grandpa and Jackass, it's pretty much that style movie. But I really did like the movie. The movie plot was basically there was another theme park that opened up and across the way and it was like a Six Flags or something that had like, I mean, his, his theme park was really like on a mountain hill. It was like a muddy hill. Like, like it was like one roller coaster like that ropey one that pulls you along and you kind of move in a circle. It was like a slide that went down a hill, but it was only like 20 feet long. There was just a slide. It ended up in like a muddy pit at the end. There was a river, so you could do like a rope swing into the river and like the big balloon, the thing you like jump on and bounces you up, you know. There was more river fun activities, I think, but there wasn't much there. And this new theme park moves in really close and he starts losing business. Then you meet the villain of the story who basically wants him to sell the property so he can have the property and make this other theme park bigger because he was the one that basically sold them the property. So he's trying to take it from this guy to give it to these guys so they can expand their theme park even though his theme park is there. And the movie kind of goes along with his daughter's in town and, you know, He's putting so much attention into this theme park that towards the end his daughter runs away. She He chases her down, figures out she's at a milk shop thing, and kind of explains, you know what, we'll just sell the place. But before he gets to that stage, I mean, he tries a lot of stupid stuff. Like, the bad guy ends up do, making an inspector come out and inspects it all for hazards. And he's like, you got to fix this, this, and this. They end up going to this newer, this newer theme park and taking all this wood going back and fixing it they open up and it's still not making enough business so then they were like okay well maybe we need to make a commercial so then they make a commercial and try to sneak it into the newsroom because that's where his brother's new girlfriend i guess worked his brother was a weird character in it but anyway then at one point they decided to, the way to make the this theme park better was the make no limits no rules on safety so they take off all the speed restrictions all the seat belts all you know they make catapults like just dumb stuff and <coughs> a lot of the stuff the main guy the dad ends up trying for us and of course like the jackass movies and whatever movies they're all real stunts so there's one scene where like he's supposed to be catapulted that way and by accident, he gets catapulted that way. Now, in in real life, I don't know if they actually meant to shoot him out of building or if he was supposed to go that way and they actually messed up and went that way. But getting hit, he got thrown into a building. That really happened. There's a scene where he goes down a slide and falls through the slide. That really happened. Like, it's all real. All of the, like, the stuff Ashley doesn't like when you get hurt and go, ooh, actually happened in the movie. And it's this guy calls him, you know, the the main guy and then tell him, tell him, you know, the little girl calls him Grandpappy, tell him the story. Uh, there's a scene where, you know, after they kind of open it up and they make it more accessible and more dangerous, you know, there's a scene where they decide the best way to bring people in is to raise awareness about it. So at, before the commercial, they decided to do a protest. So they go into like the lobby 
where there's like a new mayor and they sit there and try to protest their own company action plan, but it ends up working. They get a lot of the locals, you know, they tell them one or two more days and then we got it made. Uh, they had a petting zoo in there, but because they didn't have a license, to, they took away the petting zoo. So then they spend part of the movie, you know, trying to trap exotic animals. Like, he has a neighbor. He calls it his neighbor. It's a bear that literally drinks all of his beers. I kid you not. Like, in the story, they show the bear taking the beer and just drinking. So they end up luring the bear there and keeping him a pet and, like, a porcupine and a squirrel. But, like, a weird stuff. And open it back up and he kind of messes up the main guy does and is worried so much about his theme park and his money and stuff that he forgets about his daughter like I said she basically has been all trying to go all summer long to a, to a concert he forgets about it and says he can't because at that point he's really close to losing it and so she runs away he goes there with his brother and tries to look for her, can't find her. And then he's like, wait a minute, I know where she went. Goes to a, like a small shop and she's sitting there where they used to go as, when they were younger, drinking a milkshake. He apologizes, said, you know, you're right, I put too much evidence, this, I'm not been focused on you. And says, you know, when you go back up to go home, how about I go with you? And so kind of the last thing of the movie shows the entire people there and you know, everybody that wants to go into action points across the field, they still have the fence up, and there's, like, a bunch of officers there and stuff. And there's a scene in it where the bad guy lawyer actually makes his son go to action point and gets hurt on one of the rides and tries to sue them, and that's one of the ways they close it down. And so in this last scene, he signed over the deed of the property, and he's like, yep, everything is yours. Lawsuit, blah, 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 everything. It's all yours and gives it to you. Well, then he opens up again, you know, one last day for action point, and everybody just comes running, and all the locals that have been going there for years comes running in, and they just start destroying stuff, and rioting, and destroying stuff, and hackling him, and they won't leave, and, you know, it's it's kind of funny, it's a just as hurt thing. The last scene of the movie, they decide to shoot off a bunch of fireworks at the park, they're sitting on top of, like, a shed at the edge of the park watching, and they shoot too many fireworks, and kind of blow up the whole damn thing, and... They show him taking back his daughter and the brother and the brother's girlfriend going with them and they all move. I don't remember where she moved, where she was from, but they move to where the daughter lives. And of course, in this story, they're talking in the background behind all this. He's talking to his granddaughter about what him and his, him and her mother did. At the end of the movie, her mother comes into it, you know, and sees all these pictures that she's been taking of him because while he's telling the story, he hasn't changed him, I and he flips himself once and nearly breaks his back. He almost sets his face on fire. Like, she's looking at all these photos and like, yep, yep, and laughing. And then the last scene is kind of a nice family moment where she, you know, he was like, of course I came back. I had to be here with my daughter and my granddaughter now, and the movie kind of ends. And I'm losing my voice. As Ashley mentioned, it was a good movie. It had some good humor to it. Compared to Bad Grandpa and Jackass, it had a much better storyline. Like, I actually liked that movie. You know, the humor wasn't one of those type of humors where, like, normally when I see a comedy, I'm like, don't look because I think it's embarrassing. And, like, I'm like, oh, God, you're embarrassing yourself. Stop looking. In this particular movie, I never had that problem. I mean, there was a few scenes that were out there, but I never had that problem. I like the storyline. I like how they ended the movie. You know, everyone kind of got a happy ending. Yeah. But it was a good movie. I mean, if you like, if you've liked the other movies like Jackass and Bad Grandpa, then you'll like Action Point. Um, like I said, it definitely had more of a storyline. So I think for people like me and Ashley who don't particularly like Jackass and, you know, that type of comedy where they always hurt themselves to try stupid stunts, it kind of was half way in between both worlds to make us happy. I saw Bad Grandpa on theaters with Ashley and I didn't mind it, but she once again doesn't like those type of movies. I definitely like this one better than that. I think the crew did a better job on this one, but if you haven't seen it, I'm not going to say go see it in this one. <laughs> I liked it and all, but this is definitely a choir taste. It's definitely adult taste. And it's definitely a choir taste. Like I said, you really just 
if you like, if you know you like stupid comedies and comedies where people get hurt, you know, my oldest sister has a twisted sense of humor. If someone like literally gets hit on the head or something, she will bust up laughing. Somebody like that will enjoy this movie. You know, me and Becca kind of, well, the whole family kind of has that sense of humor. Like, I don't laugh as much, but my niece, my sister's daughter, has that type of sense of humor. She's just busting up the whole movie. I mean, there's enough humor in that movie, even if you don't find that stuff super funny with other stuff, that it made it worth it. So if you like humor and you're not super worried about a PG clean movie, then go see it. Um, like I said, not super clean. There was dirty jokes. There was sex jokes. There was sex scenes in it. I mean, it's definitely not a kid's movie, even though it's about a theme park. But it was a good movie. I liked it. I liked the cast. Good story. Yeah. Go see it. On to my next review. I'm going to not be able to talk by tomorrow. Not in Smile Boys. Okay, I'm done. This is making me dizzy. But go see that movie. Get off your butts and go see a movie. I'm getting so sick of not seeing a movie because my niece is here. I finally gave up cigarette smoking. You know we smoke pot. You know it. So I'm not going to keep a secret from you. We do. I haven't been able to smoke because my niece is here. And now, because she's here, I can't go see movies. It's like five of them I want to see right now. And I can't because I can't pay for them. When I go without her, she just gets pissed off. My rant's over. Go see that movie if you like those type of movies. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.